Hi, this is Jason with RPC Electronics, and this is Lesson 4 in the Creating a Part Library tutorial. I've uh, started with the uh, data sheet one more time, and the reason I brought this up is I want to um, point out that when we created our device in the last lesson, we, nom we uh, named all the pads the numbers or the pin numbers. And if you remember, a standard IC with the notch up that means pin 1 is the top left corner and we count that U so it's 1 through 4 then we go over to the to the next uh, column and we count 5 through 8 up so just keep that in mind because in our in this next ver in this uh, next section we're going to marry the device or we're going to uh, marry the uh, the footprint and the schematic diagram together to create the device and and you'll see up in the top left on the menu bar we've done symbol we've done package and now we're going to do the device so we're going to click on that and you can see that I've already created um, the device now you want to keep the n same naming convention that we've been using and since this is the dip 8 part you want to make sure to add that dip 8 to the end just to make sure that uh, you can tell the difference because if when we create a surface mount part We'll also have a surface mount footprint, and that will be a whole separate part of the library, and that will make more sense in Lesson 5 when we do that. So I'm going to click OK, and it brings up this new window. And in this window, we need to add the symbol and the, and the uh, package. So we'll start by going here to the left to the Add tool, and you can see 741 op amp is, all, is in our list, so we're going to click OK. That brings up the symbol that we drew. And what you want to do is make sure to center this well, center it using the 0.1 inch uh, grid, so that means it may not be exactly center, but we're going to center it on this crosshairs that are shown here on, in the window. So now we've done that, we've added that part to the library. Next thing we want to do is go over here to New, in the bottom right corner, and this is going to bring up our package. Now if we have surface mount package, that would also show up, but right now we just have the dip package, so we're just going to select that, the highlight, click OK and that's been added up here in the top so you can see that both elements that we create are now shown okay now we're going to go in the bottom right and we are going to use the connect button we're going to click on that to bring up this window and this is going to allow us to actually marry these two these two symbols together and you'll see that there's two columns you got the pin column and you've got the pad column and if you remember when we created the pins we named each one of them something meaningful using the data sheet to make sure we got the names right and then the pad column each pad has been given a number and that was the numbers that we assigned when we created the device okay so now we're gonna actually marry these two elements together and we're gonna use and we're gonna actually use the symbol to the left here this symbol to to do this now we know pin one is the top left and we know that's ON1, so I'm going to click on ON1 in the pin column. And we know that's pin 1, so I'll click pin 1. And then I'll click connect, and now is connected those two together. You can see that in the connection table, or the connection column. Now, I can either select here and then select the number, or if I'm going in order, I know INVT is the next in order, so I click on that. Pin 2 is already highlighted. It's kind of light gray. It's kind of hard to see in the video. You'll see it better when you're doing it yourself. But as long as I don't change the pad numbers, this is going to automatically just work right on down the, uh, the column. All I have to do is, is click the function that matches that pin and click connect. Pin 3 is the non-inverted connect. And you can see that it's automatically selecting the next one in the list. Pin 4 is negative VCC. Pin 5 is ON2. Pin 6 is OUT. Pin 7 is VCC. And last, we have the last two selected. We click Connect and we click OK. Now, you'll notice that the symbol still has the names that we gave the pins, but you can see that the pad numbers have now been added. So now, not only do we have the functional names of each pin, but we know what pin of the package or pin of the IC is mated with each one of those functions and as you as we spoke about before the numbering convention stays the same you count in the U 
So stop, start with the top left, count down, go to the right, and count up. Okay, now that we've done that, all we need to do is click Save, and we've saved the package. And real quick, I'll bring up a schematic, and I'll show you how to import that new library. So we'll go up here and where it says Library, and we click Use. And then we'll go on down here, and we're going to look for IC. 741 op amp and there it is that's the prop the the new library we've just created and we can verify that that's there by clicking the add button wait for it to come up and we'll scroll down till we get ic 741 op amp click on it and there it is there's our brand new library ready to be used and we can even double click on it and add it to the schematic and now that I've done that, I can flip over to the board and we can see that that part has now been added to the board as well. And as we spoke about before, in the schematic, it's automatically named US1. If we use our renaming tool, we can rename that to say IC1. Oh, that's already in use. Okay, we'll use IC2. And when we flip over to the board, we can see that, I, that $1 sign has been changed to IC2. So everything that we've we've uh, done to make this package complete is now complete and is fully usable so thanks for watching and in lesson five we'll we'll go over creating this the surface mount version of this part and we'll see you in lesson five